Hello everyone, we've come to Rail for the afternoon. It's lovely and sunny. It's a uh, Sunday in June. Uh, June the 4th? Oh, yep. Yeah. And we've just parked the car. We parked down the side streets. Uh, if there's no double yellows or signs say you can't park, then you can park. You don't have to pay. You can usually park down here, but the building... Yeah, this good. street, it was normally the street you're parking, but the building there. So we've gone in the next street along. Uh, there's no double yellows, there's no signs to stop you from parking and I've been doing it for years and it says you're paying in a car park and literally right up here in this uh, main strip and the beach and this building here is an arcade one of the biggest arcades in Rill it's got uh, a big dragon on the front and uh, you win tickets to win prizes. It's all different things in there. And I think in there there's a mini golf for entries for £15, nine holes. And I think there's a laser zone as well. And there's also a play place for the kids and a cafe, like a fun centre with slides and balls and climbing frame, like soft play thing. This is the main road in Rill. And that way takes you to Tarin, Abigelli, and also if you want to go to Landed, now you can go that way. Now this building here in front of us is the brand new Sun Centre. It's called Sun Centre 2, abbreviated SC2. The original Sun Centre was just down the road there and oh, they closed down, I can't remember about 2016 or before, I can't remember. And half of the building was kept as a theatre and the Sun Centre itself closed down and a few years later they built a new one up this end of the woods. And just behind the real Sun Centre is the skyline I think it's called. It used to sit in it or stand in it and it used to spin round in a circle and go to the top but it was deemed a bit dangerous especially when it was windy because the whole thing would rock about and shake so um, yeah it's not working at the moment or at all to be honest because it was very very rickety when it was windy so uh, we're going to walk down here This is the main street. Some of you may have been to Rill on your holidays over the years. Some of you may live here. Some of you may you come for the day. It's changed a lot over the years. Some of the buildings have been knocked down. Uh, some empty spaces where buildings have been and some buildings knocked down and new ones put up. little shops here, got rock and sweets and toys and gifts and beachy things, buckets and spades. There's a burger place here which I'm sure was open a minute ago. Big beef burgers, all American. I'm sure that was open a minute ago, wasn't it? They do burgers, chips, all different types of things like that. There's your real, your new real sun centre. is a replacement for the old one. Across the road there, there is a view cinema. And many, many years ago, you might remember there used to be a theatre across the road. I remember the theatre when I was little. It's now long gone. And on the front there, they put a view cinema along with the Wilson Centre. 
Let's see if I can uh, zoom in. There you go, there's your view cinema. And there's the um, the sky. What is it called? Skyline or something, that tall thing. Or the sky tower. Yeah. It's no longer, work. well it does work, but it's just not like that used because it's dangerous. And there you go. There's some centre there. Go. I'm here today with Andy Pandy and my mummy. This is Andy's channel, and I'm doing the video in for a change. And we go, we've got Mr. Uh, Bowling and Pool, Mr. Bees. Says Mr. Bees. It's been several names over the years, I think. Amusement arcade, there's bowling alley down the back, and there's pool tables as well. And the usual different rides outside. There is a new shop open, it's called Go Local Extra, and they sell. Uh, bread, they sell milk, pasta, even beachy things as well, so it's a little like a little corner shop that sells everything, including food. So if you're down here on holiday and you need some bread, you can pop in here. And you've got uh, another place here which is uh, new to me, it's kebab house. There you go, pizza and kebabs. And we've got a five hygiene rating as well, which is good. And I think they do fish and chips as well. Fish and chips. There you go, and a pie, sausage. And have a nice cup of coffee as well. Just outside in the summer. Or you can sit inside. Or you can have a takeout. Now this building here is Premier Inn. It used to be... Rosie's Nightclub. Some of you might remember Rosie's Nightclub. And I will say it's been other things over the years. They knocked down Rosie's Nightclub completely. Squashed, fattened. <laughs> and then they rebuilt on it. They built a Premier Inn. And they've also got the cookhouse up on the side. We do lovely meals in here, I've been here myself. Got some nice burgers there on the menu. Yum. And it's open seven days a week. Uh, if you remember Rose's nightclub, the entrance used to be here on the corner. And there was a downstairs and an upstairs bit. And it is there, look. Cookhouse pub. Customers, three hours parking free. Well, that's good, isn't it? If you're coming here for a meal, three hours parking free. I'm not sure where the car park is, though. Maybe it's around the back, possibly. Should we have a look at the menu on the board? The cars pub is it's a chain pubs. There you go. Starting shares. And some great grills and burgers. And some yummy puddings. You can't see a pudding. Even a salad. <laughs> there you go. Ugh. Hot today, isn't it? Hot. Oh, you've got me a Ribena. I haven't got where to put it in. I should put it in your bag. <laughs> Thank you. Nice cold drink. And just bought me. Ooh, Wednesday night pie night. 8.99. As we carry on down here. Got the Monte Carlo. Oh, and I'm sure down the bar it used to be a chip shop. I could be wrong. It's now called It's now a local shop. It must be 
like one of the Marcells or something, like a spa shop type thing. But if you tell me if these, I'm sure these are very cheap around the back. They could be a different street. It's half term last week, so uh, quite a lot of people here. There you go, Ooh, snacks and Monte Carlo. Big lollies, ice creams, drinks. Deep burgers are not dogs. Some of the arcades have gone now, they've been locked down. This is a shame. I don't know if anyone remembers of one of the arcades down the back. There's like a big like um, a display, like a game and it was all like a wild western and you put uh, money in and then you have like a water pistol and then you used to press the water pistol on these targets and uh, one of them there was a toilet and the door opened there was a man on the toilet and it was all different things I'm not sure if it was one of them in Blackpool but the one in real is no longer here now and the arcade's gone too it's a shame that was a, that was a good game on that one it's a teddy in these Half of them are a bit of a con though really. To be fair I have won a couple of teddies in my time but most of them are a con really I suppose. We've got the corner cafe. Get yourself a nice uh, nice meal in here. And they've also got a children's play area. So you can bring your kids, have something to eat. Kids can go play in the play area. I think you have to pay a little fee, but it's not much. And upstairs, you can hide it out. Parties! The corner cafe in real. Wait for kids at the play area. At the minute it's closed, usually it's, it's open in the, in the day. So uh, you can do all sorts of meals in there. Across the road. Back to on green. Oh, let's make sure you cross from the on green. Let's have a look down this one here. A lot of takeaways now in restaurants. Tattoo parlour there. <laughs> and across the road here from the uh, from the seafront. It's like um, children's play area. Some of the things there are no longer no longer going anymore. But there's like little rides for the kids, and there's like little places to go and eat, and a shop sells sweets and things. But quite a lot of it. Some of it's still going, but not all of it, unfortunately. And some of you haven't been to Will for years. I've not seen this before. I can't remember when that was built. Can you remember when that was built across the road? 1990s, I think. 1990s? All up there. They are trying to do real up. They are trying to do real up to make it a better place. And here, whether you remember, there was a cafe, there was an arcade, there was um, like a wine bar, a nightclub upstairs and it was the Queen's Market inside. Originally, before all that came about, it was called the Queen's Hotel and it had a massive dome on the top. And then fortunately there was a fire which burnt some of the building and destroyed the dome. But then in recent years, uh, there was a, like I said, there was a market, a wine bar, there was a, a club upstairs, there was arcades. Now, it's all been flattened. And there was a secret mystery that they said there was a little uh, river underneath, like Venice. I don't know how true that is. And they used to have the, what are they called, gondolas? In Venice, gondolas. I don't know how true that is underneath there and it used to go out towards the seafront 
but now it's all completely flattened and what they're doing is trying to regenerate the area and they're making a new market a new market for real I found a lot of cars today, probably because it's nice weather, people coming out for the day before they go back to work tomorrow. Oh, there you go, there's a virtual reality ride that's going about there. I think they're, I think it's like trampolines and the children get fastened in and they can jump up and down into like lanes. Looks like it's operating today. So here you go, here's some pictures on the wall. Down the far end of Rail, the blue bridge going across. Um, there's a new bridge built which goes across. It's just a footbridge. On the other side, there is a little cafe. And I think there's a biking shop next door. I think it's a biking shop. Uh, the biking shop's just there. And there's heats outside. So if you go for, if you go for a walk down that way, you can stop off. It's fine. And this is the blue bridge that I was on about, which is still there. And then alongside the other side of it is um, a footbridge. There you go, Children's Village it's called, across the road. Uh, zoom in again. There it is. Quite a lot of new houses have been built in the area. Some of the houses have been knocked down. The terraced uh, townhouse terrace houses. There's some pictures here of the new houses that have uh, been built. And also some of the older ones have been done off. There you go. Got these on the pictures here. This is up there where we parked our car. Like I said, they're trying to regenerate Bill and make it a you know, get the tourists back in. Because over the years, the tourism has dropped here. Um, the fairground no longer here. The fairground is now in Tarin. There's two fairgrounds in town, one on each side. And the one on your left is uh, part of Tia Prince, which is a big market. And they also have car boot sales in there too. And one of the rides in the Tia Prince fair is from Camelot. When Camelot closed down, they they bought it and they put it there. It's um, you buy like a, a I think you buy a wristband, and then you go in and then they take so much off your wristband. Like they used to do in Blackpool, but now Blackpool got a rip off because you've got to pay just to get in now, even if you don't want to go on the rides. The olden days you didn't have to pay to get in. You just pay on the rides, but anyway. Blackpool for you. <laughs> Enjoying it in real? Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see there, let's zoom in a bit. You can see where they've uh, cut the building from this bit here. The Queen's Market, originally the Queen's Hotel. Nobody remember there was uh, was it Scruples a night uh, Scruples wine bar and then there was a nightclub upstairs and then there was the Queen's Cafe we used to get sausage chips as usual in there long gone but hopefully the new market when it's all finished you may not be able to see but we'll go around the back after and show you hopefully it'll uh, attract the uh, people back. This arcade is still going. The bright spot it's called. You should be able to go through the arcade and out the back into the uh, precinct 
and the precinct is also closed as well. Underneath the bridge, follow the road round, there is a car park for its paint display. Or you could be like me, go a bit further down by the uh, arcade with the big dragon on it. Go around all them streets there, you find the parking space, you'll not to pay. As long as there's no double yellows or any signs or any form of anything to say you can't park there, then you'll be fine. And also that way leads you down there to the beach. There's a um, little uh, hut down there that you can get. You can get fish and chips, and ice creams, and drinks. It looks like there's uh, some from the bars are open over there. So quite a lot of the uh, fast road is open. We've also got the Sea Life Centre, which is just over there, which is open. So if you like all your fish and your sea animals, um, good place to take the kids. Or you can just come out the kids. And down that way you'll see there's a cream club building, which is now a travel lodge. And it's got a chain pub attached. Um, and then next to that is where the Sun Centre used to be. Uh, and then over the years, the Sun Centre had. A right, we're walking now down to the seafront. Just come from up there. And we're now going down there to the seafront. And I noticed on one of the buildings here, it says. I'm not sure if that's supposed to say West. West Victoria Buildings, 1826. West Victoria Buildings, 1826, there you go. Oh. Uh -huh. yeah. And it's home to W. H. Smiths and their glasses, opticians and hearing centre. Yeah, look at the top of the building, if you go right even where we are, and you look around, look at the top of the buildings. Yeah, yeah. It's what I always do, because the hidden gems. If you go to uh, Chester, and you head towards Primark, there's a building across the way there. If you look right at the top on the side, it's got the name of the old hotel it used to be. It's no longer a hotel or a pub or a bar, it's a shop now. But that's the sort of thing you look out for, you see. But if you look at the top of this building over here, we'll zoom in a bit. You can see the old uh, window style. It's across the road, so we don't get what over. Okay. Different architectures, the past. <laughs> I always look up at the buildings, the old architecture, and any signs or anything that are on there and dates of when they were built. Let's see what Mum's found over here. This used to be uh, part of the uh, Queen's and well, you can see out there where the window, where well, there used to be windows so they picked them up. Because back in the olden days they used to have what was called the window tax and they used to tax you on all your windows and some people couldn't afford to ta pay tax on all the windows. So what they used to do is turn them into fake windows that's why when you go around places, some of the buildings will have a painted on window where a window used to be. And it's probably because of the window tax back in the Victorian times. 
So people couldn't afford. So they just had like one or two windows. Here you go is the best cafe here. Look at that. £4.50 with toast. You can choose six before 6 pm. You've got egg, bacon, sausage, black pudding, hash brown, uh, tinned tomatoes, fresh tomato, mushrooms, beans, and fried bread. Mmm. Wonder if you get a drink with that as well. Go for tea. Well, for 7 50 you can have card chips, peas, bread and butter. Mmm, all freshly battered. Never know, might get a drink with that one as well. Usually they do like a tea or a coffee with them, don't they? Or, how about a quarter pounder with chips and side salad for £4.60? Bargain. Even roast ham and chips. <laughs> Northern Seoul, 60s, 70s, 80s music, and it's also available for private hire. Yeah, that's so open and going. And up there on top of the Rollins, I just noticed some little pots. They all look like pine cones, and there's one there, and there's one over there. And as you can see, what used to be windows are now boarded up with blackboard at the top. The old windows there. And you can see the old next to the new. <laughs> I think I prefer the old style myself. Down here now to the seafront. A bit warmer down here, a bit shady down the main street. We'll have a look at some of the bargains in the shop here. And it's still open. And it's Sunday. Wow. Look at all these here, one of them there. Oh, the teddies. Way else, Welsh teddies, flip flops. Sun gets a bit hot. I think it's best to cross at the lights.
We've got supports direct over there. Yep, I press the button. That's probably because of class because there was nothing coming. I suppose you could go after this white one. Better now, nice and warm down here. In the sun. Right, press the button. Nothing. Come in. And press. Down there, it's like a little uh, outdoor like venue. Uh, they've had little festivals down there. I think Radio One's been down there. They've had bands on and stuff, rock bands on, dance bands on, the 90s dance festival on there, uh, but you can go, because there's nothing on at the moment, and the seat's down there, for tourist information, I think there's a little cafe hot thing where you can get a drink to, and we're going to go over the bridge now, there we go, look, little pond down there, Shame we don't keep it tidy and clean. People just throw things in there and then it just gets left. There is a little waterfall as well that goes into the water. And once upon a time we did have flowers and I'm not sure what's going on here. Whether they're going to put any more in. We've got loads of flowers on this side though. All the pretty flowers trapped all the bees and the insect there's your aquarium Oceans and fun for everyone. I'm right, gonna go down here and down the bottom here. There's a couple, well, more than a couple of little shops. One selling little trinkets. There's another one. Uh, fish and chips and on the other one ice creams it's great if you're on the beach and want a nip or snack it's also a seat, seating area as well so you sit down and Even do do might get myself an ice cream I think. Why not? Down at the seaside. Live a tradition. Do have an ice cream. See what the other guys are having. You guys, you want drink? Ice cream. Andrew's got his camera with us, taking some pictures. Did you want a drink? I'll have an ice cream if you offer me. Oh, I see. Maybe because it's closing soon and it gets windy, maybe? And then they don't want it to, uh, unless they're fixing the signs, I've no idea. But there's your car park over there that goes underneath the children's play area. It is the display. But me being a cheapskate, 
We've got the same one in park for free. Down one of the side streets. <laughs> now we'll look and see what ice creams they've got. Little trinket shop there. I think they're closing for the night. It looks like they've got the beach shoes and buckets and spades. Rock. All different things in there, gifts. It's past six o'clock now, so this one here, fish and chips, the fish cabin. Smells good. Smells good. And this one here, hot fresh donuts and ice creams. <laughs> you getting yourself a drink? Uh, uh, all these different ice creams, strawberry, woman raisin, toffee and fudge, bubble gum is it, vanilla, candy floss, mm, you can have a flake on the top. Oh look at that, they've got slushies and all. No, that's it. I think I'll save my ice creams for a bit later. A bit hard to walk and video with an ice cream. Probably end up losing half of it. <laughs> there we go, there's the front. There's the beach. There's the Beach goes for miles and miles. That way, heading towards Bristatin and to Lakva. And then you've got this, eh? We're heading towards, you've got Tawin, Rose on Sea, Colwyn Bay, landed now. You can see in the distance, I'll try and zoom in a bit for you. Mountains. That's uh, the Great Orm. Landed now at the Great Orm. We've got someone here metal detecting in the sand. A very big metal detector. We can find anything good. moment to see light out. You can see in the distance all the wind turbines. There's also wind turbines further down that way as well. Now they're saying back to on a good day you can see from Blackpool all the way over to the side if you've got a good enough eye and camera. Have a look at the seaside for a change, eh? Yep, that's it. Don't come down this bit much, do we? No. Nope. Where are we off to? Don't mind, just where you want to go. Okay. Do you want to go along here or do you want to go through there? I don't mind. Yeah, which way would you like to go? Any, anywhere you like. I don't mind either. There's your bridge. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go along the bridge then? Yeah, if you want. Mm -hmm. That way or that way or... You okay. can. And we'll follow you. Hello. If you want to come and stay here, there's a, some travel lodges. Uh, Premier Inn. And there may be a one or two B and B still going as well. But there's definitely a premier in the pub attached and a travel lodge with the pub attached.
A bit. Oh yeah. Just been in for a while. There's a hook there. Where the lifeguards in. That white hook there. See it. Oh yeah, that's the lifeboat. The lifeboat, the lifeboat, the lifeboat station. Hot up there as well. And that covers quite a lot of the. North Wales coast. Along the, the, the houses here on the main road, looking towards the seafront. Quite a lot of them used to be uh, BMEs. There are still some still going, but not as many as there used to be. Some of them went turned into flats. And down that way you've got, um, is it the Alexandra Hospital? Royal Alexandra Hospital? It's only a small hospital. I think it specialises in certain things. Many years ago it dealt with uh, children. I'm not sure what they do now. I think people still go there for different things going over the bridge now so here we go this is the children's area up here and look out there and see front Yes, Andy Pandy. Mummy, come in. Across there to the old Woolworths building. And as we're higher up, you can also see the new Queen's Market. Which used to be Queen's Hotel. And then it was the original Queen's Market with the arcades, cafes and precinct. And it's all been knocked down now. This is the new market which they're building in place. It was a built, bit built on, which was a theatre. And then in recent years they closed down the, the Sun Centre and kept the theatre open. And the Sun Centre bit was chopped off. And then you've got the travel lodge built on there with the side, which is great if you want to go and see a show at the theatre. 
Mrs. Brown's boys has been there and a few of the different shows. And Wilson Centre has now been rebuilt down near the wrench we saw before. And this building here, can anyone remember what it used to be? It used to be Woolworths. And then upstairs there was a bingo. Was it Mecca Bingo or some one of the bingo companies upstairs? It's in a bit of a sorry state. It's no longer Woolies. Unfortunately Woolies bit the dust several years ago. Which is a shame because it was one of the best shops going. It did turn into a B&M. But now B&M, I'm not sure if it still is a B&M. It's got B&M signs on the doors there. But it's got on the top here, Hoxer. Never heard of it before, but it's the same sort of thing as B&M. So I'm not sure if they're part of the same group or not. But they sell similar stuff, don't they? But yeah, that used to be the Woolworth building there. Most of the Woolies, they all look the same. You can always tell which building's been a Woolies and that, can't you? It's a bit loyal. There you go, here's your main, your main street. This red bit here was all part of the Queen's precincts and the Queen's Market and stuff. Shop myself everything. I'm going in here. Got uh, beach things, shopping trolleys, clothes, electrical goods, uh, shoes, the beach. Got everything in there. They sell like beauty stuff. It's like all sorts. Good shop, I've been in there myself. Another shop here that sells everything, more beach shoes, pockets and spades. Let's have a look at the Woolworths building, there you go. Good old Woolies, we do miss Woolies. There was a local Woolies where I lived. Now it's been turned into a B&M. And there you've got the entrance which used to go into the into the Queen's precinct and head towards the market. Now closed off. I wonder if they'll use that for the new entrance to the new market when it's ready. You got a subway. And you've also got Mackey's. McDonald's and on the opposite side which uh, KFC which has moved it used to be up by the uh, police station but now it's moved down here plenty of places to eat there are some pubs as well that do pub meals around town there's also a little restaurant place there it's uh, for work zooming Oh okay, yeah, there you go. Uh, it's a cafe that sells chips, fish, full English breakfast, that sort of thing. Sausages, burgers. There is a Weatherspoons in town as well. So if you fancy a cheap drinking meal, it's just up here around the corner. So we'll just turn the corner here, just down there, this is your local weather spoons. See if I can zoom in, there's people sitting outside. There's a few seats outside, but with the sunny weather it's difficult to get a table outside. But there are seats inside too. So there's a weather spoons there, where usually you get a drink included with the meal. And then you've got, you can see the scaffolding now. That's part of the, uh, what was the Queen's Market. 
an arcade and the Queen's Hotel which I thought would have been a listed building because uh, when you went in there there was fake ceiling and uh, some of it was missing and you could see parts of the old ceiling in there which was all like decorative and things because uh, when it was the uh, Queen's Hotel there was a ballroom there was a dance hall, there was theatres, the hotel. If you're on Facebook, there is a site, a history of real sites. I uh, can't remember what it's called, but there's pictures on there of um, what it used to look like years ago. And the local police, making sure to keep the area safe. And also, if you go on the internet and type it in, there's also pictures on there of what the Queen's Hotel used to look like. I don't remember the Queen's Hotel. Probably before my time. Ooh, there is he. There he is by that bin. There's a white pigeon. There he is. I'll try and zoom in. Why is it not zooming in? Oh. There you go. <laughs> there you go, I'm not very good with this camera, but there you go. <laughs> there he goes already zoomed in. There he is, a white pigeon. Are you sure it's a pigeon? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Off he goes. Where's the pigeon? Mr. Pigeon, he's looking for some chips. Or some food people have dropped. Oh, there's his mate coming. Yeah, Where's your mate for me? <laughs> anyway, there you go. Oh, some shops. Usual shoe zone. And yours, that's a good shop. It does uh, sizes up to, well, I'm not sure, about 30 or something. So it's a really good shop. They cater for all sizes in there. There is, they do men's clothes as well, but they only do men's clothes online. Because I went to one in Birkenhead, I didn't realise it was a shop that sold all different sizes like that. I just thought it was a normal clothes shop until I seen the sizes in there and I spoke to the lady. But she said there is men's clothes but they're online, unfortunately, which is a shame. Do you want to walk up there to the end? Great Smiths. Oh yeah, here's a map here. Oh, if I stand back a bit, zoom in a little bit. We are basically the red bit dot. We are here and tells you different places where different things are. Obviously some of these buildings have changed over the years. Costa coffee. Uh, cost a lot as we call it. Because it isn't cheap in there. Cheaper you can get take out coffees in Weatherspoons. So you might as well go in there and get one. And it's closed. Here you go look. This is the white rose shopping centre which is also closed. Must be past four o'clock is it? Okay. Usually past us is still open until quite late. <laughs> but uh, that's a precinct. There's loads of different shops in there. And right on the end it goes down to the old Woolworth shop. And you can go into the shop through the precinct. There's a, there's a Sayers or Palm Bakery in there. You've got uh, the Backer Boots. Um, clothes shops in there, Iceland, Iceland in there as well. I think the Iceland though, I'm not sure, I heard Ringwood might be closing. I'm not entirely sure on that one. Ooh, 
because I've got a game shop. All the new gamers out there. There's quite a few charity shops as well if you like your bargains on the charity shops. And New Look. Not a very big New Look. There wasn't quite a wide variety of clothes in there I'm afraid. But sometimes I've been there and I'll buy a few bargains. You can just see, you couldn't see it before because the fence was in the way. But now we're higher up, you can just see. It's got all glass on the front. And looks like they've got solar panels on the roof. Try to make it eco friendly, I think. There is quite a bit of uh, work going on in the children's play area. Some workmen there, they're in dwelling. And there you can see the little pond down there. up ahead there's the bridge with I think it's the railway station that goes underneath and they're building next to it I think it used to be originally a cinema then it changed to a bingo and I'm not sure what it is now and you've got Poundland and this used to be Marks and Spencer's they got the dust from Rill and then Poundland moved in and they now sell clothes at Poundland Wow, uh, not a pound though I'm afraid but they are quite cheap and they do men's, ladies and children's there were some shops here um, I think it was Next and Dorothy Perkins as you can see, it's been knocked down. Not sure what they're going to put there. Hopefully something good to regenerate the uh, tourism. Here's a little pub called The Lawn. They also used to do food. Not sure if they still do. Like sandwiches with some chips, things like that. But they have all the sports on in there. Let's have a look down there. And you've also got some streets down there. One of my old haunts. It's now Wilkinson's. It used to be a nightclub called Flanagan's. Fortunately. Uh, less and less people used to come to Rail and some of these places they got torn down and then rebuilt and it was rebuilt as a Wilkinson's it's a shame really and there was a lovely kebab shop across the road you used to get your pizzas, kebabs before you went in your taxi home the good old days front in a minute. There you go, there's your pound bakery and the Greg's.
it. Let's zoom down and see if we can see into the main street. There are people down there today. Carry on walking. Packing up the uh, these uh, water walkers. Rides here. Cats pull around to say, Oh, there's a snake. And here is the uh, entrance to the car park. Some steps takes you down. Good old favourite there, yeah, the bumping cars. Cafe there. Friend loves these, the sizzlers. It's her favourite ride. Pepsi Max roller coaster now showing on the Venturer, the ultimate experience. So, if you don't fancy going to Blackpool, you fancy the Pepsi Max, there you go. You can watch it in there. I don't fancy it myself. <laughs> Real tourist information. Any information you need to know, you can pop in there, they'll be able to help. Sweets, Welsh gifts, come on and look around. Gift shop. And you can see through there, there's your Premier Inn. One of the places you can stay for the night. Good luck on that one. <laughs> Usually nowadays, most day in public toilets get closed down. And if you need a toilet, you have to find the nearest pub. And then people look at you funny if you don't buy a drink when you walk in. Uh.
I mean, come on, till five o'clock. No, mm. like oh. Forty p. Who wants cash these days? Forty p. You're getting rid of your own waste for forty p. And what do we do with the forty p? I mean, oh, they do do contact lifts, that's pretty good. I mean, well, yeah, but still, though, uh, 40 Yeah, that's no problem, you can go there if you want. We had a little bit of luck on the seafront there. We've had a look in the town. Have a look at some more places, they're just going to have a little stop. Going back a bit. Seagulls are real. Oh, she's got herself a, a pasty and a, a drink. And now she's got some friends. Hello, Mr. Seagulls and Mr. Pigeons. There's one just underneath there now. There he is. Where's me Bob? Come on, I'm hungry. So it's like Greg's is open late. <laughs> Where's the other one gone? Oh, there he is. Oh, there's the big bird. There he is. Look on top of the bin. He's waiting for a tasty snack there, aren't you, friend? Waiting to see if you drop any of that yummy pasty. On the snap break. Trying to avoid all the birds. Let's have a walk down here while Mum's eating a pasty. I had McDonald's say before I come in Flint. Mum's had an ice cream and now she's hungry, so she's got some pasty. Right, here we go. Go for the walk down here. We'll go around in a circle and I'll show you where the spoons, some of the other buildings that you may remember. Obviously they've changed over the years. The Bobo's Cafe. Looks like they do breakfast, lunch, and snacks. And Funky Feet Records. The Watch Shop. And there's a Cluid Bakeries. Mm. Oh, a shop here. Looks like it's. Laptops, PC repairs, phone pairs, games, vapes. I'm here at your Wilkinson store. This used to be Flanagan's nightclub, which they knocked down and rebuilt. To make way for Wilkinson's. So back when I was uh, in my teens and twenties, one of my hearts used to come. And then on the way out, before you got in your taxis, used to come across here and used to get your chips, fish, burgers, pizzas, kebabs, garlic bread. Then you had to walk then down to the seafront then to get your taxi because they wouldn't come down this way. Yeah, yeah. There you go, fully furnished. 
fancy apartments to rent. One thousand two hundred per month. Wow. Fully furnished as well. Not bad though if it's fully furnished. It's an expensive though. Especially for real. Well I suppose if it's fully furnished as if you're buying your own stuff. Just look after it there. I suppose any damages I'd have to pay for. Here we go. Got a police station up there. KFC used to be next door, which is now moved into the main street. And then you've got the road up there leading to the train station. And the train station is all the way down there. And that train where I think you can go to Manchester. Chester, Manchester train, maybe, Chester train, we're going to have a look up here, go around in a sec, Bye. nice and warm today, a bit cold in the shade, once you get in the sun, nice and warm. Was on there. I've got a job on the uh, shutters there. Tattoo parlour. Oh, there's the police. And the last going down then. We're heading towards the seafront there. Maybe, maybe there's a bit of a fight or something going on, who knows? Oh, they've gone uh, left. Maybe they're going to Tavern. Because in Tarwin, there's loads of holiday camps in Tarwin. Plenty of things for the kids to do. Beaches, arcades, uh, bars, cafes, restaurants. That's where Tia Prince Market is. They also have a car boot sale there too. And Tia Prince Fair. And there's also a big Asda down there as well. So if you're staying in one of the caravans, you can do your shopping at the Asda's. Sticky beans, that's been different names over the years, bar. And here you've got the George pub. Found a nice cold pint. It's been there a long time. Used to go there back in my younger days before I went to the pub. And if you remember, this bit on the side. It's the garden area and it used to be all indoors. Knocked it down and made way for a little garden area. And this here is the Sussex, which is now Weatherspoons. It used to be like a bar and club. And a big dance floor. And then they turned it into a Weatherspoons. Sitting area outside. When I was in my teens and twenties, I used to go there when it was the Sussex Bar. All your dance tunes on the dance floor. I think there used to be like a little cafe on the side if you wanted snacks. And this is where they're making way for the new market. It says there, 1902. I'm sure the Queen's Hotel itself it's been there a lot longer than that, unfortunately. Most of it is now gone. Let's make way for the new market. Got 
Men det var nu bare... Jeg vet ikke hvem, så var det jo det jeg sier, og... Det er de hungry. Hvad er det for snacks? Kan du chips? Jeg har ikke noen chips i dag. Jeg tror jeg hadde eaten før jeg kom. Men fortsatt, mate, the cafe is not open for you. Wait till tomorrow, though, the cafe will be open. Here we go, back up on the main street. See if Mum's finished her pasty. She was sat up there, she was, by the bed. Do I rub some cream in my eye? Not a bad idea. But at least I've got it on, so I don't burn. I've also got, um, I don't know how you say it, I call it Kex, C-E-X. It's a great place if you want uh, a phone, or if you want. And you're just zooming in on Wilson Centre there. This is the new Wilson Centre. Look at all the slides, the wave pools on the rides in there. And the seagulls are on a fight. Somebody found a bit of a uh, snack there on the grass. Have a look over here. There's the cafe I was talking about, corner cafe with the children's play area inside, but also you can hire it out upstairs, parties. And the toilets are actually open, Woo which makes a change because usually the public toilets are closed, and there's a disabled toilet there too. So if you've got a disabled key, you can use a disabled toilet. If you haven't got a disabled key, they cost uh, a couple of pounds. Get them on Amazon. We've got one ourselves. Even though 40 p is a lot of money though for the toilet these days. Used to be 2p and you used to put it in the door. Remember that, 2p, you put it in the door, 2p, then it went up and you put 10p and put it in the door, 40p, some places charge 50p, or if you don't want to pay for the toilet, you can go in the arcade across the way there with the dragon on it and there's toilets downstairs in there. Waiting for Andy Pandy to come. Right, looking out over there now. The Premier Inn and the Cockhouse Pub. That's where your Rosie's. Rosie O'Grady's? Is that Rosie O'Grady's or Rosie O'Brien's? The one's Chester. Yeah, because one's in Chester and there's one here. Obviously they knocked it down, flattened, and then they built up this Premier Inn and Cookhouse Pub. 
great if you want to come and stay in real. Right then, I don't mind. I mean, you can walk to the harbour, but it's the club, that's the only thing. Really don't mind. No, it's flat, it's all flat. Okay. We're going to walk up to the harbour now, along the seafront. Or do you want to go along the main road? Mind, we can go on the main road if you want. Well, would you prefer find the main road where all the shops and buildings are? Yeah, you see, I don't mind. Do you want to go that way? Yeah, if you want. Have to cross the road then. Okay. <laughs> then you can cut through here, I think. Oh, well, yeah, you can walk down the bottom, can't you? Them there, the bingo in Les Harkers, they do the bingo. If you like a bit of the bingo down the seaside. There you go, and then you can see where the Queen's used to be. There's a new market being built. The new market, it's not finished yet, but um. That's the start of it. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, the other market, there wasn't really a lot in there, was there? Yeah, there used to be, um, if you remember, in the old market, used to go inside and up some steps, and there used to be a gypsy up there, Gypsy Smith. Yeah, Gypsy Smith. Because you've been to Gypsy Smith, haven't you? Am I sure any good? There's no um, fortune tellers in real anymore that I know of. Blackpool, there's one every 200 yards on the seafront. Not all as good as they make out to be though. Because uh, you went, didn't you, and it wasn't very good, was it? The gypsies in Blackpool. Yeah. And expensive. Building down there, so it's got a clock on it. Look, everybody's enjoying the bingo there. Arcade again. There we go. I think we're going to cross over into the arcade for a quick toilet break. Those tube skates don't want to pay 40p, you see. <laughs> Why pay? Could go towards a drink or something? Go a little treat. Toilet. Yeah. We're tube skates, we don't want to pay 40p. <laughs> Oh, you know there's no soap. Oh, I've only got a bit left, fortunately. I always carry a bit of hand gel in my bag. No, okay. But to get a giant bottle of soap <laughs> from the shop. I should put soap in there, lazy people. You expect to go to the toilet and you expect to have toilet bottles, soap, on a hand dryer. 
and water. They've got all of it apart from the soup. <laughs> the car park here, paying display. Remember, if you do what I do, you won't have to pay. They're parking down the side streets. There's the arcade here. If you follow the road down the side and keep going round, any space you see without double yellow lines or any signs, you're sorted. There's your Wilson Centre. What's that? Roy Castle. Oh, Roy Castle. <laughs> and just says there's a man there, he looks like Roy Castle. No, the, yeah, it used to be a theatre here, it's now the swimming baths. It's a sun centre. Basically, where the Sun Centre used to be is the theatre and where the theatre used to be is the Sun Centre. <laughs> but the theatre, it, it was proper old style kind of theatre that was here. And there used to be also a pier in Mill, would you believe? A pier. There is photographs I think on the internet somewhere. But there's no longer a pier unfortunately. There's no pictures or anything like that. You can't even see inside. The old sun centre you can see through the window. There's even a cost of coffee in there. <laughs> Apparently there's a uh, height restrictions there for some of the rides. Well, there's a map here on the wall. It's got all, oh, it's quite a lot of rides in it. Let's have a look, shall we? I'll zoom in a bit now for you so you can see. There it is, the extent of the Sun Centre. Wow. So that's what's in the new real Sun Centre, right, for the moment. Looks pretty, pretty impressive, doesn't it? It looks like games console or even games to go on with the console. They do uh, PlayStation games, Xbox games, all different types of Xboxes, PlayStations, Nintendos. Uh, they're all second hand, but they uh, test all the equipment before they sell them. A really good shop they also buy things if you've got anything you don't want anymore but they do test them because i've taken phones there before and unfortunately they said they couldn't sell them because it wasn't holding the battery wasn't holding its strength which i wasn't really bothered about because they were old phones anyway but um if you do take stuff there to sell you can either get cash or you can have vouchers for the shop itself and you get more money in the vouchers so if you're looking for something in particular then I'd get the vouchers but if you're just selling for the money then just get the cash but there's there's one in Chester there's Wrexham Liverpool have got two probably maybe where you live they might have one as well but uh, Andy's had loads of uh, PlayStation and Xbox games from there lots of DVDs CDs Really good. They're online as well, so you can check them out online and see whatever you're looking for is in store where you are. Well, I'm going to go down the seafront in a minute. Wait for my now, she's just having a coffee. There's um, a little play area out of the water as well. Ninja tag places to eat as well 
There you go, there's your Wilson Centre. There's also a terrace bar as well there. A bit of food and snacks. Right, we're just going back in here now. We are going to go down to walk down to the harbour. We're just stopping for a quick toilet break. Right, we've had our toilet break. It's not particularly bad, is it? One hour, pound, four hours is three pound, and nine hours is four pound fifty. I still say park down one of the side streets for nothing. Well, yeah, but yeah. Probably get yourself a cup of tea for a pound. We'll go down the farm bakery for a pound. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, this is, um, if you remember, there used to be an outdoor swimming pool in Rill. Um, it's no longer in the same place, but. There's still an outdoor swimming pool, which is part of the Sun Centre, and there it is. I don't know whether you can see it or not. To them, the gates there. Oh, there you go. Little outdoor seating area as well. Just in there. The outdoor swimming area. Pardon? Yeah, there wasn't used many. Loads, used to be loads of arcades. Loads of arcades on the seafront. Used to be loads of pubs on the seafront. Hotels, B and B's. Lots have changed over the years. That's uh, the biggest arcade in Rio, a palace, and it's where you get uh, tickets to win prizes in there. But you need, uh, I think, was it four thousand or forty thousand for a large teddy? The amount of money you have to spend just for that, you might have to just buy the large teddy, it'd be cheaper. <laughs> I suppose you have some fun though, I suppose. You can see over there a bit of waste ground where one of the old buildings used to be. There used to be some good little bars along the sea front here. They no longer exist. One of them I think was called Garfields. Anybody remember Garfields on the front? Can't remember what the other ones were called. And down the bottom there, just by the Blue Bridge. I'm assuming that we're going to walk down there, where the fairground used to be. And they also used to be, um, I think it's a sports bar, they had pool, snooker. It was called the Schooner. Anybody remember the Schooner? And then there was also a nightclub. There was a couple down there. One of them was called Brunel's. And the other one was called... Was it the orange? Clockwork orange, the orange. Orange peel, that was it, the orange peel. I knew it was something orange. And also there was a play place down there called Peabody's. Remember that, when I was a kid, you could jump in a big pit of balls. But fortunately that's all gone now. And there was also like, um, uh, a, uh, like a, was it a hotel with a pub underneath? Used to go there on bank holidays. Can't remember what it was called. I'm not sure it'll have a sign outside. It's now flats. Let me go down there. 
but all, all on the area where the fairlight used to be, there's um, a range, um, I think it's a B&M, or Home and Bargains. There's also a Greg's down there as well. The, uh, the little, the little, uh, little boating lake is still down there. And I think the railway as well, the miniature rail, railway down around the track is still there as well. Just before the Blue Bridge. Oh. What have we got coming? Oh, a fat fish car. On there, going police car. Probably someone in town, probably. That's where people like to go on their holidays. Lots of uh, caravans, sites down there, entertainment, fairgrounds, markets. Got some crazy golf there. Not sure what's going on here. Looks like there's some building work going on. Uh, there was a skate park. I'm not sure if it's still there or not. And a children's play area. Maybe it's behind. All of a sudden it's still there. We'll have a look as we go past. Here you go, here's the empty space where once stood buildings just like these ones. These ones here have been painted and modernised. The ones along here, they've uh, they've been empty for a long time. So they're knocking down. The same as the ones at the back there. There used to be down the back there a street with terrace houses in it, and there was uh, on both sides, and there was a pub as well, a bit like Coronation Street. But I think they've um, well, they was all empty, they're all derelict, and I think it's been pulled down to make way for new homes. Oh, there's some more. Yeah. Something going down down there. That's all in a fight with the seagulls over the chips. Some of the old houses still exist. There's a street with some of them in, the old terraced houses. Watch out for the speed camera there when you come down the snuck of the woods. It is 30 miles per hour, but some people think that uh, Nigel Manson will want to go a bit quicker until uh, they realise, oops, there's a the camera. These here are newish, along with the old down here. Some of them are retirement flats, I think. The newish ones and the older ones are just normal flats. I think it is the skate park yeah. and the children's play area. They must be, uh, hopefully they're doing it up. 
It's a shame really, you know, because there was quite a lot of kids in there. And you don't see this much of the seaside, little garden area. And the old fashioned seating areas up there with the covers on. <laughs> Great if it's raining. You can hide out in there until the rain stops. Luckily today it's nice and sunny. I think we're in for a heat wave for the next couple of weeks or so. You can still see some of the old kind of pairs over the door there. I think some of them have been. The ones have still got paint on them, whereas those ones have been stripped of the paint. Back in the old days, Victorian town, it was a very, very popular seaside town. It was packed. People would have lived in these or they had been bees and stayed in them. But now they're just flats, people's homes. Back down there, where we've just come from. I don't feel sun very well, do I? Your heart? I'm a night bird, mate. Daylight <laughs> does me, I don't. I'm a right. vampire. Well, I did offer you the sun cream and the hat, but you said no, so. You need the sun cream on to protect your skin. And the hat, too. What's that? Sun cream and a hat. Unfortunately, they're back in the car now. No original homes down there. Good on that street takes you into the main town shops. New buildings here to the left, which once would have stood the terrace houses now knocked down, made way for these flats, which I think are retirement flats. I think I'll be wrong, but I think they are retirement flats. Looks like they're having some building work right onto them there. But next door is the pub I was telling you about, the hotel and pub. And we used to go for a drink in there. But I can't remember what it's called. It may say on the on the side, 
they're now flats as most pubs are turned into flats especially where we live there's only a few pubs remaining the rest of them have been turned into flats or something else because this day and age it's cheaper to buy your alcohol from the shop and drink it at home than it is to go to the pub and some people can't afford to go to the pub it's a shame really because some of these pubs were the heart of the town of the town the area all used to gather we'll have a look now see what says anything on this Palace Avenue was it the Palace Pub? That rings a bell. Anyone remember what it was called? Used to go up them steps into the black door and that's where the bar area was. There's a little cafe next door. Want to a cup of coffee or a cup of tea? And then the waste ground, you can see next to it, that's where Peabody's used to be, Children's Play Centre. There was a snooker bar, used to go down the steps, and there was snooker tables, snooker tables, snooker tables, and there was pool in there, and they had TVs in there, I think. And then on the end, there was a shop that sold everything, beachy stuff and that. On the end was Brunel's nightclub. They might have been called something else when you used to go there, but it was Brunel's when I went. And now nothing's been built on it. And they put wooden posts all the way around. And there was also um more of them terraced houses. And one of them was a nightclub called the Orange Peel. Um, you may know it as a different name. But I'm not sure there was um, a cafe along here as well. I think we used to come bank holiday. Pie and chips. Now all gone. Just grassy land. It's quite weird that they haven't actually built on it. There is a sign up there. So look what it says. Oh, it looks like they may be developing on it. Site accepted for development. Let's zoom in on that there. So it looks like they could be doing build on it. Maybe on that side, but maybe not on this side, I don't know. And the sign there says it's uh, looks like a site acquired for development. Acquired for development. Uh, mm -hmm. Hmm. There you go. Grassy area here. You can park along here for a pay and display. Well, I think this bit actually, oh yeah, it is. There's sort of the, the box down there, pay and display. Now, over there. There's a, well, you can see the sign, fish and chips, that's been there a long time. Can anybody remember the fish and chips? That's the back of the fish and chips, which is the, the it's facing the range, where the fair used to be, down the street. Fish and chip shop, anyone remember the fish and chip shop? Was it any good? I think I have been there many, many years ago. Can't remember.
coming up to the harbour now and there's a new footbridge which goes across the harbour to the other side and there is a cafe on the other side which I don't think it'll be open now but if it is, great do a nice cold drink and at night time the footbridge lights up different colours changes different colours and it does open as well if there's um, boats with big tall big tall boats it will open I have seen it open some seating area up there and taking the view of the seaside and the beach and there's a range over there that's on the site of the old fairground if you remember the fairground they used to come here quite a lot They used to have the uh, the big uh, ride that used to go down into the water. And also you had the schooner pub, which is also on this side of the range. There's an Aldi as well, over there I can see. I know there's a Greg's because I've been in Greg's. And we've sat up there on the front. We've had a cup of tea each and a pasty. It's not far to walk across the road. You can see the blue bridge in the distance. there, whether you can see it, there's a chip shop. It doesn't actually look as though it's open. There's like, um, like grills on the windows. Everybody know it's still open? Fish and chips. You might remember it years ago when you used to go your fish and chips. I wondered what the building next door was. Looks like now it's been turned into flats. But it looks like it would have been some sort of building. Maybe it was a social club or something. Not sure. Maybe it was just flats. Well, let's have a look over here now. This is the harbour area. Good on here, it's quite, the suns are quite sunny. Hopefully you can see. And the bridge down there, the there are some boats. And we'll walk across the bridge. Mm-hmm. We want to walk on the sand over there, just cross the bridge, make your way around. Great with dogs. There's some certain some parts of the beach. At this time of year dogs are not allowed on. There are signs telling you when and uh, what times and they can't go on. Usually the height of the season. but dogs are allowed anywhere else. Just not on the beach in this summer season. But I think this part of the beach, they're allowed on, there's some dogs over there. But the main part's down there. They don't allow dogs on in the summer season. In the winter time, it's fine. Ah, 
the sun's just in your face all day, isn't it? Yeah. They are all fairground site. What used to be a bustling site with rides. Now for shops. I don't know where you can see in the distance. There's the lake pond with the little railway track going all the way round which is still there You can stop for a drink up here if you want one. <laughs> There's a pub up here called the um There's a Hungry Horse Chain. Um is it called the Harbour? Anyway, it's a Hungry Horse Chain. We may stop there for a, a quick drink because it's quite warm and we've walked quite a bit. Marina Key it's called, the new shopping play, park. Farm trees down there. Uh, B&M, Iceland Range, Costa Coffee, there's a Greg's. Pardon? smell a vision Smell a vision Yeah. Why? You can smell the, the sea. <laughs> oh, you can smell the sea. Yeah, you can't smell and see. <laughs> Over there is the, the little, isn't it like a bike place where you can go and get your bikes fixed or whatever? And a cafe. I think it's a bike place. The uh, main promenade here is quite wide, so there's space for bikes and for people. There's your marina over there, marina. But I remember that still there.
so you get a great view of the sunset there at the moment it's a bit early sun's still shining in the sky and it's still hot There we go, walking slow, are you? <laughs> Taking in the sea air. Show you the map. So we are, there we are, down at the harbour, and we have walked all the way from the harbour up here and we've gone from there so that's how far we've walked all the way down here and we're here at the harbour so there's your map Some statues here. One with a football. Is there a football? It looks like he's clapping his hands. And the other one's got a guitar. Going across the footbridge over the marina.
take your picture of someone on Facebook. That'd be a good one for you. Yeah. We're sticking on the North Wales site. There's a couple of Facebook pages. Uh, I love North Wales, is it? One's called. And there's another one. I can't remember what it's called. Something North Wales. And uh, people put their pictures on there where they talk about places they visited or they ask questions. Very good. Marilyn Williams. Mm, she take lo- photos. She does lovely skies, but she goes all over. All over North Wales. All over North Wales, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, take a look at the uh, Facebook pages. Let's have a look down there. Where we just come from. You can see the the tower there. Swimming baths. We've got some sand dunes on this side. You can actually walk. There's a path we made. Going around the sand dunes. So you can take a walk. Aha! Here we go. The bicycle shop and the Harbour Hub Cafe. Fortunately, it's closed now because it's quite late. But she's opening the day. And there's your view of the harbour. Not many boats out in there today. A couple over there. There's also a car park for boats over there. If they're on dry land. I'm gonna go past that way in a sec. Oh and you can go on boat rides and fishing trips down here at the harbour. Angling, diving, sightseeing, survey, filming and corporate charters. There you go. And in the distance, just over there, black and white, well it's not really black and white, uh, is the pub, Hungry Horse pub. And we're going to be stopping there for a drink, I think. And look at the blue bridge, see all the cars. Run across that way down there is towards Tallinn, in Kimmel Bay. That's where all your holiday camps are. And there's plenty of entertainment down there. Tier Prince is a good place to visit. Market, car boot, and Tier Prince Fairground. I think it's two pounds to park your car. I think. So that's all day and inside the market there's also a cafe and there is a horse and cart racing track not sure when or if they still do the horse and cart racing but that's where Tia Prince is and they sell there's a butcher's there shoes clothes household goods toiletries Bathroom, kitchen, cleaning things, 
pots, pans, pottery, kids, toys, jewellery, perfume, you name it. And also they have a car boot sale, which is using uh, one end and the other end car boot sale. But they sometimes finish a bit earlier. And it's not open every day. So you have to check out on the internet when it's open. And I think it, I'm not sure it was closed winter time. But my advice is uh, we went in March and there wasn't a lot open. The fair one was, was, was open, but there wasn't a lot of stalls. So it's better to come a bit more when the weather gets a bit warmer. There'll be more things open then, especially in the summer, everything could be open. There you go, the guys over there. Well, guys and girls are having a rest. One can't walk like me and Andy. She gets a bit tired, so she needs to have a rest now and again. Fair enough. So I hope you enjoyed our trip to Bill. I showed you some other sites that you may remember, and some you may not. Now it's all changed. If you remember any or any other information, you can drop it in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe and press the bell button for more videos because I know all you guys out there love our trips to Rill which isn't far from us. We live in the Deeside area, Flintshire so about 45 minutes up the road for us. We're just on the border between the English to the Welsh. Half an hour to Chester for Mars which is in England and then 45 minutes the other way you're in the coast. Okie dokie, see you on the next one. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Bye!